Welcome to Africa 54. Thank you for having me. You are one of uh, the leading uh, tech entrepreneurs uh, in uh, Nigeria. Uh, you've been at it for a while. Uh, bring us up to speed. What have you been up to? We've built several applications for universities. Um, during the COVID, you know, like everybody was locked down, so there was this scramble. So we had a lot of actually tertiary institutions that now wanted to get automated, and they went. So we've built website applications and uh, student portals to help people teach online, learn online, um, register people online, things like that. And we've been building the same for the health sector. So we've um, got an automated some hospitals, processes, and done stuff like that. How big is uh, uh, the technology uh, space uh, in uh, Nigeria? The tech space in Nigeria, like you say, yes, it is vibrant, but fintech in Nigeria is doing okay financial technology. But the other aspect of it, maybe not as much. When people talk about technology in Nigeria, mostly they're talking about the fintech space. If, if you see, if you, if you get what I mean. So we have all these other people out there that, when I say there's a 50% gap, so there is that 50% gap. If you look at the stats that come out of Nigeria, they will say 93% of Nigerian businesses are MSMEs. Um, micro, small, medium enterprise, 93%, one-man businesses. A lot of those people, they are not tech enabled. A lot of them don't know about tech. There's still a huge gap. So a lot of massive training is still needed um, for businesses. But like Nigeria has a youthful population, as you may know. So the schools need to also ramp up and start ensuring that um, uh, they include IT, you know, technology training in the curriculum so that people can start learning from a young age. You said that... Uh... Uh, you still need a lot of uh, uh, training. Most of the people are not up to speed when it comes to uh, how to use uh, uh, this uh, new technology. But then uh, on the flip side, you have a lot of tech giants uh, going to Nigeria looking for talent, saying that uh, Nigeria is the place to be. So I see a bit of contradiction there. There's a huge gap. Um... I think there were some companies that were training people for specific industries. Even some of those companies, they ran into problem at a point because they needed people with even better skills, you know? A lot of, I'm in the software industry, a lot of software people in Nigeria that I know, they are building websites, you know, which is fantastic. You know, everybody needs a website, but it's mostly front-end skills they are, they are, you know, that they are learning. You know, a lot of people are not learning the hardcore back-end coding skills that are required to build like proper systems, you know? So we're still there. As of today, even me being in the software industry, we don't have like a proper Nigerian made, apart from Handy Jacks, Nigerian made uh, software built by Nigerians used all over the world, you know? So when you think about it, there's a gap, <laughs> you know? There are a lot of uh, companies uh, uh, that have come and uh, within a couple of years they wrap up and they're out of business, mm -hmm. but you've been able to sustain your business. Uh, what is it that uh, you are doing differently? Um, expertise in software development. So for me, it's not like I just went and I learned, um, what do I call it, learned to build websites with WordPress, you know, and I'm going there. I understand the software development process. So some of the areas we have gaps in Nigeria, for example, when you talk about the analysis, you know, when you talk about um, design, I'm customer first. So I talk to my people, I'm friendly with them, my clients that, you know, try to understand what they want and actually do it. Um, when you test, a lot of people like with proper testing. And one of the things like, again, if you don't understand software developer uh, development, when you code, it's difficult to test by yourself what you've coded. You know what I mean? Because you can never see problems in what you've done. So you need a different pair of eyes to come and look at it. Everybody nowadays is talking about uh, AI, chat, GPT, and anything in between. Wh what are your thoughts on that? AI can do a lot of good and does do a lot of good. So I think um, we need to have policies around it so that it's used in a good way. How do you stay on top of your competition? Tech keeps changing, so you need to change with tech. You can't be using mainframe when everybody has gone to the cloud, you know? <laughs> so, so, so you need to keep evolving. You need to keep changing, keep understanding, and be out there in industry, in the ecosystem, understand what's going on, what people are doing. Yeah, just keep yourself fresh. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I do appreciate it.